So you need to be able to draw sine, cos and tan from memory, knowing where the graphs cross the uh, x-axis, the coordinate axes, and be able to draw them and sketch them quickly. Now, for sine, okay, sine looks like this, okay, and this is between minus 360 and 360, okay, so there's 180, there's minus 180, there's minus 90, there's minus 270, there's 90, there's 270. Okay, so the sine curve repeats itself over and over and over again in both directions. Okay, and the piece that repeats itself, okay, that length of how far that bit is, so this bit you could say, right, between 0 and 360 is precisely the same as that piece there, it's just shifted along, right, and it's that piece that repeats itself over and over and over again in both directions. So we say that because this curve has this piece that repeats itself over and over and over again, we say that this length of this piece is 360 degrees, okay? Because it's going from 0 to 360. And so we call that the period of the function. Okay, so sine x has a period of 360 degrees. The function has what's referred to as periodicity. Okay. Now for cosine, Okay, so let's draw cosine. Right, so there's 1, there's minus 1, there's minus 360, there's 360, there's 180, 90, 270, oh, minus 180 rather. Minus 90, minus 270, okay? Now, this curve, the, the cosine curve, you can see that this piece is precisely the same as that piece, okay? In fact, the cosine curve is just a translation of the sine curve. So you can see that actually cosine is the sine curve shifted 90 degrees to the left. Or you could think of the sine curve as the cosine curve shifted 90 degrees to the right. Okay? Either way, they both have the same period. Okay? So we say that cosine also has this period of 360 degrees, the distance over which it repeats itself. Now for tan, Is that part not as good at drawing tan? I kind of always underestimate how much space I'm going to need. So here's tan. There's zero. There's uh, 90 degrees. There's 180. That's 270. There's 360. There's minus 90, minus 180 minus 270, minus 360, okay? And the curve shoots off to positive infinity or down to negative infinity, okay? So it's not bounded like sine and cosine are by 1 and minus 1. Now for the tan curve, what you can see is that it's this piece here that's repeating itself over and over again. So it's the piece that repeats itself and so that is going from minus 90 up to 90. So that would be 180 degrees that repeats itself over and over again. And so the period for tan is 180, half the period of sine and cosine.
So that is how we can draw sine, cosine, and tan from scratch. Well, um, from what you need to be able to do to draw them uh, as a sketch. And that's how we can identify the period of each of these functions.